starting easing our way in and re re learning the controls again. Yes. Right to throw, left to move, game speak here, actions there. And L2 is my um is my second game speak. I had this really weird glitch I'm gonna talk about in a little bit that was a bit of a pain in the bum. What I want is Hello, chant. I need long hang on. That's long whistle, okay. So I need hello, chant, long whistle, hop, hop. Ah You are being a pain. Um it's Hello, chant, long whistle, hop, and fart. Perfect. Alright. One life run for January 2022. New and tasty. Do I still want to do this secret passage? Yes. I do. I just want to be smart about it. Um, I need... That's what I'm using for free now. Yep, yeah, okay. Alright. Okay. There we go. Too many runs have ended in stupid ways because of this one slick. So, I am dropping him down the hole. So, I need... One, two, three, four, five. So, even if everything goes completely cattywampus, Care and caution. Um, next up, I want to move you to here. Put eight here. Maybe one day people will follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Perfect. Okay. Everybody. Hello. Hello. Howdy. Oh. Follow me. Okay. Wait. Okay. Hello. Right now. Oh, okay. Hey. Follow me. Okay. Wait here. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Hello. All right. You'd think this kind of stuff would be pretty straightforward. Yeah, we were. But I've had too many runs and preemptively because of stupid stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, cool. So nine should be where I'm up to. I'm pretty sure. That does add up. With the brainage in the everything. Okay. I honestly it's just nice to have a run that doesn't end the second I get into the secret passage like so many of the others have up to this point. I've been very careless with New and Tasty, and it's such a shame because it is still, to me, the definitive way to play Aegis Odyssey, and by extension, it is so different doing a New and Tasty one life run compared to doing an Aegis Odyssey one life run. And the feedback I keep getting about one life runs applies probably the most solidly to new and tasty. The things I should be keeping in mind fit with this game the most. Primarily, only do the secret passages that I know won't compromise the run, and focus on progress and then backtracking for more of that stuff. And that's that's the thing that I keep doing in Ape's Odyssey. It keeps catching me off guard and making things worse. And tonight I'm hoping I can change that. Fingers crossed. So that's 11, unless I've counted incorrectly and it's actually at 12 or something. 
Let's have a look. Okay, 11. Now, before I keep going, I encountered a very fun glitch while I was gathering that footage for the Weapon of Choice edit that I put on Twitter. Which um, came about because I was having an issue with my controller desyncing and going back to the default Steam input. I don't know why I was doing it. But it went back to the default control Steam, assuming that you're using um, a Steam controller. And what that effectively did uh, was lock up all of my controls and meant that it thought it was an Xbox controller. And then when I fixed that, when I fixed that, it instead had the adverse effect of turning all of the status indicators and LED displays stark white. Um, after about an hour of trying to fix it, I finally found out that the Steam default setting had been re-enabled, which basically conflicted anything that has scrolling text on screen and meant that even display signs that tell you what button to push to do basic actions, like hoisting, also turn into a mismatch of muddled textures. So it was a bit of a mess. Um, I don't want to recreate it because the amount of effort it took to tidy that up is um, not nice. But there are entire threads in the discussion and forum section of the new and tasty Steam support that outline this exact problem. And controller support has had a lot of community modding done for it, which actually gives you the options to try different configurations of the control scheme, some official, some based on different controller types, and some even mapping the control scheme of this game to be even closer to the original Abe's Odyssey. Now personally, I've had time to get used to the PS4 controls, so I do very much prefer this. But for some people there are benefits to some of the other configurations, so I understand why it's there. It is very nice. It is very nice to see that the community has done a lot in terms of adding to the accessibility. This game, from the day it released to now, is still being supported both by Oddworld and by the community, and that makes me so freaking happy. Okay, three, six, eight. So that should put me up to 27. Cool. All right, off to a good start. Now, uh, three. As we learned last time, the last secret passage in this section of Zulag 1 is not worth it for a one life run. So, I'm gonna scrap it. I'm just gonna ignore it completely. It's not worth the drama. Okay. I don't know. No, um... Hey, chum. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. Uh, 31. Beautiful. Now, this one, however, I know I can do consistently, so I will still be factoring this one in. But I think for these runs... Uh, for the foreseeable future, this will be one of the last secret passages I do. I think. That was bad. Are you kidding me? That is... Garbage. Alright, you do your thing, and I'll do mine. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> 
I'm noticing a huge mistake I've made here. I thought I'd be okay because I had enough grenades, but that is not the case. Um. Just gotta try and find a way. If I had a way of making him run into that, that land mine would be great. And I don't. I wish there was a better way of doing that. need is for him to run into the landmine. Just something. I need to be able to get to the lever. I don't know if I can do it now. That's a nuisance. There might just be enough time. This is an ambitious idea. I'm probably going to lose my Dawkins, but if I can still get Abe through here safely, it's worth it. Yeah, okay. We have casualties. That's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. We've lost one Rudokin. That is not good, but we will... Adapt the toy anymore. The fact that that worked is amazing. Said about the casualty, but come on, guys. So I'll update the canner in a sec. Yep. The fact that I made that work still <coughs> shows it's doable, just not um efficient if you lose your grenades hmm. yeah you said it dude well hello there obscura luna thank you for joining me as i attempt to play through new and tasty without dying and without quick saving uh so far i've already lost a mudokin so we press on in his honor and hopefully i don't make the complete total meal of 
No, I just make the slings dance on the edge. As you do. As you do. And you go as well. Thank you very much. Boom. So yeah, thank you for tuning in, Luna. Everybody. How have things been? How has your New Year's been? What have you been up to and stuff and things? Because I don't remember if you were in last stream or the stream before or the fiddly one I threw in on a Thursday. So yeah, just how have you been? And is Ange cooking himself in his stream? Because I'm worried he's going to do that to himself. Bless him and his over enthusiasm. Now I'm panicking. Okay, good. I can see the, the volume of the. I caught. Oh, spent a week in bed, then just working or being in bed. That's, re oh, that's really rough to hear. I'm sorry to hear that, Luna. I hope you're feeling better. I hope long term it's not kicking you in the teeth. Because, um, um, unfortunately, I do know a couple of people who have had it and have gone through the long process and have just been in a rough space. Mostly better now, just. Back is in the yet. Yeah, hmm. Oh, here's hoping plenty of rest and plenty of time in bed helps with that, and that the back's feeling better sooner rather than later. Good yesterday, hence the ah, lovely. Yes, yes, I did see that you went live. Don't remember if I hosted again. My my weekend has been chaotic. <laughs> I had about five things to do, and when I finally was awake enough and with it enough to do them, it, it was suddenly quarter to ten, and I've gone, ah, oh, I've run out of time to do things. Oh no. But other than that, I've been pretty good. Um, not doing too bad. Uh, work started back last week. Uh, we tried doing things in office today. So that was an experience, but because we've also got a depot, oh, yeah. there's a secondary website, and they're like, yeah, just don't come into the depot yet. Don't do that. Now is not the time to be doing that. Beep up. Beat up. Beat up. Beat up. Okay. So yeah, um, but other than that, oh, what was the funny thing that happened? Um, on Friday, I, just for the sake of curiosity, we went to Costco just to see what the, uh, the produce situation was, uh, there. Because at Coles and Woolies, it's been an absolute nightmare. It's not at Costco, it's fine. At Aldi, it's fine. At IGA, it's fine. People are so used to checking only two places, they don't think to check places like Costco. So I signed up for a membership while I was there, and then my girlfriend and I went to the movies, and we're like, yeah, we're, we're, we're on a date, and then we went to watch The Kingsman. Wait. Too many feels. Oh, and to answer, yes. Successfully, <laughs> successfully cooking him. I mean, if that was the plan, but I mean, bless Ange, sometimes his genius stream ideas do turn into a slight bout of uh, masochism. <laughs> oh. Too many feels in the sense of it is an emotional roller coaster. If you're wanting to go to the movies for a light romp, um, yeah, don't go for a light romp because that is not it. It's like, oh yeah, I thought it was a spy movie. Yeah, spy movies are in intense on the emotions. Never anything but okay, good. Twenty forty-seven and one, cool. But yeah, Kingsman was. Whew, wanted me to feel everything. <laughs> it's like, hey, do you want to cry? No. Well, you're gonna. Okay, um... Okay, let's give this a shot. Yes! I did it. I did it. El Piazzo! Good luck! Thank you very much, sir! Or madam, or chat member, thank you for joining in. Hey there. My meds are kicking in, but I'm gonna keep an eye on the phone for the. Much appreciated. Thank you for helping the algorithm. Hold up, okay? 
It is always appreciated. And thank you again for ducking in, Luna. Hope you're feeling better soon. Okay, get this mud. Hello. Hello. Follow me. Okay. There we go. Okay, good. I didn't inadvertently kill one of them by accident. One, two, three, four, five. I think that should put me at 52. 52. Beautiful. Okay. So I have lost one compared to the last time I was doing a semi-competent run. But, so far, seems to be going okay. Which is... noise. Tubler I'm great. Hello, David Hayner. Love that set of Mudok and voice clips is probably one of my favorites, new and tasty. With the exception of some of the native Mudokers. Because sometimes when you just kind of throw games and get them randomly, you just get some really fun responses. Um, as I have discovered, farting at native Mudokens prematurely is one of the funniest things. And yes, it is juvenile humor. And this is Odd World. You can possess farts. That's kind of on brand. Point uh, being, uh, I'm going to be handling the stockyards a lot better this time around. Because I know last time, it was either last time or was the time that I tried to do the last secret passage and died. Or it was the time that I finished the secret passage, got out of it, got raided, and died immediately. No, that was an Ape's Odyssey because I was not paying attention, that's right. And I really should have been. Point being, we're not going to have any of that nonsense this time around. Okay, good. Um, still better to possess this slig and just traipse in through everything to shoot the other one. Okay, cool. My, my, uh, my counters are accurate at the moment. Uh, I'll just engage the lift, that's right. But I do want to run off the edge. Knock you off the edge. I wasn't expecting him to be hanging on at the bottom. That's kind of funny. But yeah. Um, as for Rupture Farms, that's it. I'm not doing that last sacred passage. It has killed me twice in one of these runs. Because um, again, it has huge dependency on saws. Okay, I guess not. You didn't go slow though. Okay. Cool beans. Alright. It... Cool beans. Alrighty. So that's Rupture Farms done. It's been a while since that kind of progress has been made in a new and tasty run. That's insane. But yes, I'm going to be taking an even stricter uh, approach with the secret passages for New and Tasty, especially in the stockyards. Um, there are maybe two that I know I can do reliably, and one of them in casual playthroughs has gone horrendously wrong and required quick save to fix. So I'm only going to do one secret passage for the entire duration of this one life run. For my own sanity. Uh... Yeah. That should put me at 54. Beautiful. And of course, because these moving bombs are even worse than the normal ones, we gotta be very careful. Okay. 
The fact that I managed to get myself out of that sticky situation in that one secret passage in Rupture Farms, I'm still very happy about. Yeah, I I don't trust my luck with this secret passage. As tempting as it is, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get on with it. It is not worth any of the drama. So I'm gonna wait for the scrap to do something and then jump over his head. Ah. in the scrap here and all the things that you do okay this is this is crazy 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 thank you birdies oh beans I've actually made it to the stockyards this time. For realsies. This is insane. I still love how awesome and amazing the kanji looks in the uh, in the hint flies. Okay, now is the part. New and tasty gets vicious. Okay. Ta ta, buddy. Ooh -ha. Ooh -ha. I've got to watch the timing for these guys. And I've got plenty of time, which is the important thing. So if I can make the most of it, you turn around. Thank you. And you're gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna hop. Okay. Wait, no. This first one is actually different. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll do do with something. I never possess that one. That's odd. That's different. Okay, this one I can guarantee I can do. The other one I think is the one next to the rock sack just before the slots. So that's two secret passages I know I can reliably do in a way that won't compromise the run. This is one of the two new secret passages and I know I can do this one reliably. 54... Oh, that's right. I forgot that, um... Hold on a second. I've just looked at the interface and I've realised I forgot to include the Mudokans who died because I left them behind. So that was, uh, awfully careless of me. Okay, and I want to wait until you guys are going back this way. Possess and mash the down button. Got him. Okay, cool. And they're still listening to the game speak. How many times did they hear it? I think we're good. Everybody. <laughs> There's a David Hater one in there. Lovely. Oh, so good. So good. Okay. Alright. Um. Almost. Uh, there we go. That's the wrong portal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sixty-three. Seventy-six with nine casualties, or sixty-three with seventeen. 
Yeah, I don't know why the rave. Um. Hey, chum. Hey there. Hello. Oh, I can hear the ones in the other secret passage. Yeah. There's no way I can be ready for the other one. So. That'll spit me out here. Okay. I'm just gonna watch very carefully. The joys of playing this on hard mode is that we've got more moving bombs and more motion detectors. No, same number of motion detectors, more moving bombs on a faster pattern. I swear, the the day I realized in the middle of my first playthrough that I could that I could crouch creep, it just it was genius. It's such a tiny thing, but it changes things up so much and I love it. I think it's one of those tiny changes, kinda like the bubble caps, um uh for Abe's moveset, that just give it a little bit more personality compared to the original Abe's Odyssey and still does a whole lot for puzzle solving, and stealth especially. Which I will say, if I'm being completely unbiased and honest, uh, the aspect of stealth has definitely taken a backseat in Munch's Odyssey, so playing through an old world game that is stealth priority definitely feels a lot more natural. Oh boy. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, da, 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 da. No, no. Okay. Yep. Oh. Okay. I can see the landmines, I can see the moving bombs, I can see the motion detectors, I can see a bad moon rising, however many there are in odd world. I do not know, but it's there. Okay. No. I'm just I'm just gonna sit down. That Itched way too close to the top of Abe's head there. I was nervous to say that. <laughs> nervous to say the least. But you know what? That is that still felt good. I still felt in control. It's badly timed jump. 